In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an email autoresponder. So an autoresponder is a way for you to automatically send a series of emails to your subscribers. So once somebody signs up to your newsletter or for your e-course, they're going to receive a list of emails spread out over a time that you define. And no matter when they sign up, they're going to get the first email all the way through to the last. And you don't have to do a thing. Once they sign up, it's all automatic. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. For all of my email marketing, I use Aweber. If you'd like to purchase Aweber, you can go through my affiliate link. You can click this link up in the top left-hand corner or visit onlineincomeriver.com backslash Aweber. So once we're there, you're going to go ahead and sign in once you've signed up through my affiliate link. I appreciate that, by the way. So I'm going to log into my account. And now we're in our kind of dashboard within Aweber. And what we need to do is create a new list. So if this is your first time in there, you won't have a list at all. But you're going to come up to the top and click Create and Manage Lists. And then you'll see a big green button, Create a List. And first we have to enter some basic information about our list. And you'll see in the bottom they have this Setup Wizard. So you can follow right along through this wizard. It will walk you through all the steps. And we're going to run through this quickly. I'm just going to make a demo. Um, your list has to be unique, not just to your own list, but any user on Aweber. So you might have to search for list. It doesn't matter too, too much. And we're just going to call it demo. I'm going to block out my own information here. And then in the bottom, uh, you're going to enter your email. And this will notify you when someone new subscribes. And then we're going to personalize our list. So we're going to put in our company name, if you have one, or your website name. And your URL, make sure you put the HTTP. And your email signature, something like thanks and your name. And then you can put your logo. I'm going to skip that for this. And then we have social sharing. You can link your accounts to these. Again, we're going to skip that for now because what we really want to know is how to set up that email autoresponder. Don't worry about the text snippets. You can play around with that later and save your settings. When someone signs up to your list, they're going to get this email confirmation. So it's a double opt-in. They confirm when they enter and then they get this confirmation saying, hey, you entered your name. Are you sure you'd like to receive emails from them? And you can click some pre-approved stuff. We'll just choose one of these. And then they're going to make us edit some stuff here. It's a good idea to say kind of what your email newsletter is going to be about. So you'll learn blah, blah, blah. And add a signature closing line. And again, you can go into more detail. I'm just going through this quickly. And then you want a success page. So you're going to create a web page on your website that basically says, thanks for subscribing. Um, you're going to create your own URL and enter that here. I'm just going to put my home page for now and save the settings. So now we've created our list. We've got that done. And our setup wizard is telling us that we need to create our welcome email. So we can just click do this step or you can also get to that from messages. We'll, we'll go to messages just in case your setup window is not there and you're going to select your first follow up, the big green button there. And I'm going to get the wizard out of our way. And then this is going to be your welcome email. This is the first email that everyone's going to see. We're just going to say welcome as our headline. You're going to want to write what your website is so they do open it. And then for it's really easy to create the email follow-ups. There's a bunch of templates. You can search through all those. We're just going to click on one kind of at random and apply it. And you'll see that just changed our whole layout. Um, there's a bunch of drag and drop stuff across the top. You can drag your logo in. Um, you can drag people's names in, um, which is really nice. So just to show you how easy it is, I'm going to get this out of there by clicking the red X. And then to create my own, 
Um, let's just drag a paragraph in there. It's going to give me some dummy text. That's great. I'll drag a signature line in there. There's my signature that I created before. And then we'll call that good for now. We'll save that. And then we'll go on to the next step. And the next step is the settings, which for your welcome email, there's not much to choose from, just that you want to track. We're going to click Save and Exit. And this is our autoresponder. So that was our welcome email, email number one. This one will always be first. And what we want to do now is create our first email follow-up after that. So this is the autoresponder part. They're going to get this first one as soon as they confirm. So we're going to click on the big green create a follow-up and we're gonna go through the same thing we did before and now this is our second email our template that we used before is already in there so we'll just apply that and we're gonna put in our subject line we're just gonna call this second demo as the subject I'm not gonna change anything in this since I just showed you how to do that with the last one and that gets there's tons you can do there but again we're not going to worry about it this next page will be different though so once we've saved we'll click next and now this is where the autoresponder comes into play so this is the important part we're going to come down to settings and there's two different options here so the first thing is the interval so we're going to choose when we want the second email to be sent right now it's set at 999 days so basically they're never going to get this unless we change it so we want our second email to come let's say the next day now the other option is if you don't want this to be sent on certain days perhaps your subscribers are only on on the weekend or don't go on, on the weekend and you want to send it to a midweek you change this to on and then you can select what day what time um, it, it's that simple for this we're going to keep those settings off we're going to keep it at one day and we're going to save and exit and now we're back at our autoresponder and you're going to see we've got two emails now so they're going to get our welcome email that's going to get to them immediately once they've confirmed and then a day after they've got that they're going to get our second email so I'm going to skip ahead here I'm going to go through that same process and create a third email just to show you one more thing here so bear with me I'll be right back alright so we're back at our follow-up series and I added two more emails um, just one really quick way to add an email if you've already got everything formatted is just to click copy That's going to bring you through the same edit process, but it's going to have all of your settings saved in there um, You can also just delete so we'll do that right now. We're going to delete one of these So I didn't like that email and now it's gone so you can go edit that's going to go right back into that edit screen we We're in before so you can change your settings you can change what's written there um, you can also send a test. This is important. You want to see that's going to send a test email to you. So you're going to make sure everything you wrote came out well, the formatting came out well. So you should always send a test when you start a new email. And the last thing you can do is just grab it and drag it. So I just changed my second demo is now my third. And now that's going to come one day after the previous, which is now my another demo. And then my welcome was before that. So that's how easy it is to set up an email autoresponder. Now the only thing left to do um, is to set up your forms. So I'm not going to do that in this video. You can check out my other video uh, in which I show you how to set up a form with Aweber. Basically that's what's actually going to allow people to sign up for your list. But this video is just dedicated to showing you how to set up an email autoresponder. So again, if you found this video helpful, then please use my affiliate link, onlineincomeriver.com backslash Aweber or you can click that top left link there to Aweber and uh, I appreciate it if you do do that I earn a small commission and it helps me to keep making these videos so thanks good luck and I hope your email autoresponder works well for you